All right, here we go. This is how to save your. Uh, this is a multi-part. This is a multi-topic video. This is how to save VNC connections with password, if they have them, which they should. How to um, put them onto your and how to store them onto your uh, taskbar, which you can't normally do. Okay. Well, first off, what you want to do is you you'll have different icons than I do down here, maybe. But uh, the point is, what you want to do is you want to open up your VNC viewer and connect to your um, desired server. In this case, it's my Mac Pro desktop. And what you want to do is go in, first thing is first, go into your op, push options, go to expert, and what you want to do is you want to push advanced if it's not already, and then go to expert, and then type in uh, ADDR. And this will tell you it's true, change it to false. This disables the VNC viewer address book, which you have to have done to do this. And then push save connection, it'll warn you, yes. And then you want to save it to, I suggest the local, the root of the C drive or whatever, you know, system drive, whatever. And I name my Mac Pro. And you'll go to you push save, yours won't tell you this, and then save connect successfully. Then what you want to do is go into the folder. You want to, and if you don't see the options for the tools and the option and all that, you push Alt, go to Tools, Options, Folder Options, sorry, and then you want to uncheck Hide Extensions and File Types, and then hit OK. This way you'll be able to see the .txt and .vnc. Now, after you've done that, you'll go into the place where you have the. Um, the uh, link, uh, the file, and what you want to do is you want to copy the name of it. Now, to do this, you either double, you either click once on it, a couple seconds later click again, or you can click once and hit F2, and then make sure you copy the entire name. Now, you're pretty much done here. What you want to do is go to Run, which if you don't have it in your start menu, you hit, you hold the control, uh, Windows, sorry, you hold the Windows button and hit R, and then it will bring up the run box. And this is the day, this is the um, this is the address uh, you want to cop, uh, paste, it, copy and paste, or type if you have to, into the run box. I'll leave this up here for a couple of seconds so you can pause it. And that's enough. All right. Now what you want to do is, like I said, go into the run box, push that in. Now when you do this, you're more than likely going to have a different set of icons than I do. So, okay. So, here comes the part. What you want to do is you want to cannibalize one of your icons. Okay. Anyway, all right, ignore me. Uh, what you want to do is you have to cannibalize it. I'd suggest you, you you cannibalize the Internet Explorer, but picture this wasn't named Mac Pro. Picture this was named Internet Explorer. You right-click it, you push Properties, and I can't do that. What the hell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I'm a little. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, I'm going to copy over this myself, personally. Even though it's now it's not working. Ugh, anyway, all right. Well, picture this has the words Internet Explorer there. You want to type in. You want to type in my case. In this case, you're going to be typing c colon forward slash, and then paste in or type the name of your .vnc file. And then of course you go over here and, and then rename it to whatever the hell you want to name it. And there we go. But of course, it's not showing up now, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an actual example. Okay, screw this. I'm going to cannibalize Windows Media Player. What you would do is you would picture this as being Internet Explorer or whatever icon you have down there you want to cannibalize. Uh, because I would show you how to do the copying of the uh, the, the shortcuts, but uh, it's being a bitch right now. See, it's letting me copy them in there, but it's not showing up. Yeah.
Anyway, uh, picture this is whatever the hell you wanted it to be. Type. In this case, like I said, C colon slash Mac Pro. Now, of course, you want to rename it. Of that stupid thing, what you can do is just delete the comment, push, apply, uh, push OK, and then it won't show up anymore. Well, it shouldn't show up anymore. Either way, all right. So, da -da -da, change the icon. Now, to change the icon, push into, push browse, go to local disk, x86. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Program files. Go to real VNC, and then I chose a server. VNC server open, push OK, and boom. Now, when you now you did all this, and I took you the long way around. Now you have that. There you go. Okay, that was not too hard even though I made it seem extremely difficult, but as per, as per usual. So, there you go.